Um, hi, so today um, I'm going to take a look at Boon algorithm. It's, a, it's an algorithm for, for validating credit card numbers. Um, it's not that complicated, so let's, let's get, get right into it. So, um, uh, how does it work? So, it, it is used to validate um, a variety of identification numbers, um, such as credit card numbers, IME numbers, um, and uh, it has a couple of steps. So let's, let's see how it works. So first, um, the way it works is first we reverse the order of the digits that we get passed that we want to verify. So so the first step is reversing the, the digits order in the number. The second step is is to take like the the even the the odd digit the add index numbers so add index values in the reversed digits so we consider the reversed digits that we got from step one as an array and we take the odd indexes. Um, and when we take the add indexes, we sum them up. So add index values sum. So we calculate that um, to be S1. And then the third step is to take the even index values. And um, and every other even digits, uh, of course, in the so every even index value in the reversed digits um, that we got, and do the following. So the first step we do is we multiply each digit by two. So the digit we get, let's call it D, we multiply it by two. And ch if it's like greater than nine, which means that it has two. Um, two digits. The number has two digits. Then we 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 do a partial sum of uh, we do we do a sum of like the the values that contain the digits. So if we get like eighteen, we get one and eight, and we do plus one plus on them, and we get nine. And if it's like just one single digit, we just multiply it by two and just get the value itself. Now the second step of this is to take all these values that we got from 3.1. Um, so sum of values from 3.1 and that would be our S2. And then the last step is just to do S1 plus S2 S1 is the value that we get here, and S2, S1 is the value that we got here, and S2 is the one that we got here. And we check modulo 10. If it's equal to zero, then the, then the credit card is valid. If it's not equal to zero, then the, the credit card is not valid, which basically means that this sum has to finish by zero. So let's take a look at an example to make it more clear. So let's apply this algorithm on a, on a credit card number. So let's say we get this credit card number, which is 499273987816. So the first step of our algorithm is to reverse the, the digits order, so with that we get 6, 1, 7, 8, 9, 3, 7, um, 9, 9, 4. And the second step the step after that is to take the add index values. Um, we are going to index just 
with one, a starting one, not the usual starting two in an array. So we would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. And our, s our other step is to take the even index value. So it's to sum them up, to take their values and sum them up. So if we sum the add digit values here, we would get. So 6 plus this one is an odd digit index so 7 plus 9 plus 7 plus 9 plus 4 okay which gives us S1. So uh, this here gives us S1, which would be, um, if we calculate that, we would end up with plus, uh, 42. And so this here is our S1. Now, um, the second step is to take the even digit values. Okay, so that would be We would take the even digit value, so we take this, which is 1 plus 4, which is 8 plus an index 6, and this one is 3, and then this index 8, so that would be 2, and then we take 10, which is here 9. So these are the the even digit values. And we multiply them, each of them, by 2. So, which is the step here is to take the even indexed values and to multiply by 2 and then check the number of digits. If it's a single digit, we just multiply by 2. If there are two digits, then we do this operation here. So let's do that one. So now we do the multiplication by 2, which means that this here multiplied by 2 becomes 2. This multiplied by 2 becomes um, 16. Um, 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. Here 4 and here um, 18. So for these that are just 2, we leave them out. So this one just keeps being 2 and then we add, so the we add them. Um, the other 16 is 2 digits, so we do this operation here, 1 plus, the, each, we sum the 2 digits, so 1 plus 6, that gives us 7. And here we leave it as 6, here we leave it as 4, and here And for this one, we have 9. So the sum of these is um, 28. So this is S2. Okay. So that means that um, the, the other step that we need to do is sum both of them and check if, if modulo 10 is equal to 0. So that means we are going to take S1 is 42 plus 28. So 42 plus 28. That gives us um, 17, which modulo 10 is equal to 0. So this means that this means that our test here passes, so this means that our check passes the loan test because it's multiplied by, th by it's multiplied by zero. It's um it's divisible by ten, um and yeah that's all. If it if we found a number that is indivisible by ten, we can we could say that the credit card is not valid, and that's all it is. Um and next we will take a look at um we we'll take a look at an implementation of of this algorithm.
Okay, so I implemented a solution here for um, for loan algorithm in, in Haskell. So um, remember the steps. So it was first reverse the string, reverse the, the, the card, credit card number, and then add the elements, the values at, add, at, uh, sorry, at add in, uh, um, the values at even indexes, and then multiply by two the values at add indexes, at even indexes. Um, and then those at, um, okay, let me bring it up again so I can um, say it correctly. So it was, I'm sick. Okay, so it was first um, take the the values at at the even indexes, and then add those, and then take the values at add indexes and multiply them by two, and only mult so multiply by two the digits, their digits, so so that if it's the multiplication gets two digit, we need to add those two numbers together. And at the end, sum all of this and get the result in and check if it's divisible by 10. Those were the steps. So the first step that we wanted was to reverse the, sh the, the, the credit card number, which is what we are doing here. And the other um, thing was to, um, to, to take the add indexes to take the even indexes, which means zero, two, four. And so that's what we are doing with this ID here. So we are applying um, with, so I have a video on cycle. Um, I would link it in the description that explains what cycle does. But essentially what we are doing is we are doing something similar to this. So if we want to apply something to the second element of a list, we can just do cycle ID and apply that function F. And with the zip width, that means for every element of the list, we will apply ID to the zero index and then F to the index uh, element at index one. And then we would apply ID to the element at index two and then F to the element at index three. And we will keep going like this, apply an ID to the um, even indexes and F to the odd indexes. And um, this is the form that we are using in here. So we are applying ID to even indexes. So the values as they are, we are not changing them. We're just applying ID on those because ID just on four just gives the element, for example, itself. And for the other on elements on odd indexes, what we do is we get the digits of their multiplication by two. So for example, if it was like two, we multiply it by two, then it's just four. So nothing, we just, we do some, so sum of one element is the same one, so it's four. But if it's like nine multiplied by two, we will get one eight, and then we will check to obtain the digits of those. And so that means we will obtain the list one eight. And once we obtain that list, we can just sum these and get um, nine, which is what we want in the algorithm. And so this will give us the form that we want, which means that at indexes, at um, even indexes, we will get the values as they are. And at odd index indexes, we will get the sum of the digit of their multiplications by two. Um, and all of this applied to the reverse of the credit card number that we got. And that's what this entire process would have. And once we've got all of these in a list, we will just sum them up. Um, and once we get the total, we would just check modulo 10 if it's divisible by 10 or not. And if it's divisible by 10, then that's equal to zero. And it means that it matches the test. So let's apply this on, um, on a credit card number. So let's get credit card numbers. So let's guess this and let's apply loan here. Um, yeah, it's 
needs to be somewhere. Mm, yeah, it needs to be a list. So let's do it in a list. So that would be that would take a little bit of time. Um, let's pick one that is like this one. So it says true. If we change this one, like say five, it says it's no longer a valid credit card. And that's all we need to do. Um, and just to show you this step by step, so the first thing we would apply is reverse. So for the one, the blue one. So the first thing we'll apply is reverse. So we get that list. And then we would apply this zip width here just to show you the final result. So that would give us um, And so that will give us this list here, and then we can just sum over it. Um, and then after that, we can just sum the whole thing. So we can apply sum to the whole thing. And that gives us 19, which is divisible by 10. And that's why we get. And if you just want to check digits, so say for example, we have, um, let's say, digits here of 18 it just gets one and eight which is what we want here to compute this and yeah that's that's also it's a straightforward solution just a, a direct translation of the of the algorithm um, and the trick here is really using cycle and zip with the combination of both um, yeah so that's for the Haskell algorithm